Doing our intro again. I didn't like it. There was not, no ocean in the background. What are we doing today, boys? Wahoo fishing. Wahoo fishing. Funky Buddha. CC's <laughs> crazy ass. Right now we're boat riding. Right now we're boat riding. We went on a very long, long boat ride. I thought pin. it was time for, for me to go by. Pin and Rod, Pin and uh, we'll be getting ready to do a deep dive here in about an hour and a half. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if we don't get any wahoo, we're going to go do a deep dive. Oh, we're going to do that anyway. Yeah, we're going to do that anyway. But I'm hoping that we forget about it because we're catching so much wahoo. Right now, that's... So, anything, anything else you got to say? Yellowfin tuna. Rob, you got anything to add to that? Yellowfin tuna. Yellowfin tuna? Sushi for Yellowfin. That'll work. All right, people, let's see how well we do. So we got two good hits while we were pulling for Wahoo, but we didn't get any to the boat. But we decided to stop and do a dive on the way back in anyway. So we're going to do a dive about 145 feet, something like that. And Rob's going to start us off. So pretty much right away, Rob has a close encounter of the turtle kind. I think this turtle was actually taking a nap, and he's just, well, grumpy. He's like, well, man, what are you doing on my ledge? What are you doing on my ledge? Get out of here. <laughs> So if you look down to the left, you'll see Rob's turtle swimming off. And he's actually over there uh, shooting his scamp as we speak. But I wanted to leave this piece of footage in here just to show this ledge. I mean, the viz was absolutely gorgeous today. And it's a big ledge, and we would not have even known that it's, it's two-sided if the viz wasn't so good. So we're coming down on this low side over here. It actually goes up and has another facing on the other side. I wouldn't have seen that if the viz wasn't so good. But right here I spy a hogfish uh, swimming from a distance, so I'm gonna try to chase him down. Let's see what happens. There's Rob's turtle, just as grumpy as he was before. He just does not look happy. He's like, man, I told you to leave. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so uh, Rob's coming over to me now. Uh, I'm over here stringing his hogfish. Uh, Fred's way off in the distance. Um, there's a little bit of current on this ledge. Uh, it's hard to tell, but uh, there is. Um, and I had all kinds of problems, man. I was actually diving with a sinus infection and didn't realize I had trouble getting down. Uh, my fin comes off in a little while. I had to retrieve that. Uh, so it, I had a lot of going on on this dive, but man, there was so much fish on here. And I'm telling Rob right here, hey man, you need to go over on the other side of that ledge facing because we saw pumping over there, big blue runners. I mean, it was, the ledge was alive. It was really good.
so my camera got turned down just a little bit when I was uh, stringing up hogfish, and I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's three big pompano that are just hanging out in the sand right a little bit forward of this rock ahead of us, and that's what I'm actually beelining for. So, but I don't get there. I don't get there because, well, Rob has other plans. You'll see here in just a second. And then that just changes the rest of the dive. So I went over and strung Rob's fish for him, and um, afterwards I went up to the top of the ledge to drop him off, and I'm like, wait a minute, why am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah, I shot a fish. So I had to go get my fish. Uh, check that out. Not moving. Stoned, baby. Stoned. Thank <laughs> you. 
So when I see Rob coming over, I'm like, oh, great. You're coming out, you're going to come over and help me. Nope. He just came over to get a shaft. Thanks, Rob. And I'm stringing his fish. Man, that was a cool edge. Uh, I can't wait to go back there again. But from here on out, it's just deco time. So uh, we'll skip all that. Well, I won't skip it, but you can't. So pretty much as soon as Beth gets in the water, you can look down and see Ed's lobster wreck. I mean, look at the viz that day. I mean, it was just crazy. Uh, you can see these amberjack coming up off the bottom and coming to say hello. I mean, she's still a long way from the wreck, man. I mean, this is crazy how good the viz was. We stopped on the way back in because really everybody only had a chance to do one dive after spending so much time offshore trying to catch wahoo so man i'm glad we stopped because look at that this that's crazy man crazy
So I have to give that lobster. It's a fighter, man. It did not want to go in that bag. It's doing everything it can to keep them going in that bag. And I can't blame it because, uh, well, the next thing's the saucepan. You know what I'm saying? 